Item number SCP-4471. Index Horde. Object class Keta. Special containment procedures. Auditing firms employed by national governments, arms manufacturers, and communications companies are to be targeted with espionage campaigns to remove records of SCP-4471 transactions. An external auditing firm is to be established and provided with sanitized records of Foundation expenditures to assess internal SCP-4471 activity. UBS Group AG account number 410019 is to be monitored for further association with anomalous activity, and POI 2051 is to be added to Foundation financial watch lists. Image Main access point to SCP-4471-1 Description SCP-4471 is an anomalous fee levied on a broad subset of financial transactions related to national security apparatuses and the development of modern communication technologies. On average, SCP-4471 instances account for a 0.0001% increase in the final amount of affected transactions. This fee is expressed in inflated payments for financial planning, legal consultation, and location security, none of which are recognized as unusual by participants, despite an absence of provided services. External auditors are capable of recognizing SCP-4471 payments as being problematic under standard accounting practices. SCP-4471 payments are routed through a series of international financial institutions and culminate in UBS Group AG account number 410019. This account is associated with Abigail D. Bucket III, POI 2051, and is not itself considered to be anomalous according to current definition guidelines. UBS, a prominent Swiss bank, previously operated under the name Union Bank of Switzerland. SCP-4471-1 is a subterranean fallout shelter located in Copenhagen. Denmark, that measures 1,020 square meters across six levels, contains minimal living accommodations, and is legally owned by POI-2051. A majority of this space is dedicated to the storage of persistent manifestations of physical wealth which fluctuate in accordance with the current balance of UBS Group AG account number 410019 and associated investment portfolios. Significant increases and decreases correspond with the complete materialization or dematerialization of entire items. Smaller fluctuations correspond with individual items changing in size, shape, and material composition. These items are stored in large piles with no clear ordering system. A full accounting of items within SCP-4471-1 is impossible due to the fluid morphology of each. But regular assessments have recorded large numbers of gold and silver coins, precious metal bars, cut and uncut gems, jewelry, bolts of cloth, articles of clothing, containers of spices, items of furniture, sculptures, and paintings. Evaluations by qualified personnel have found these items to be of uniformly high quality over time, with the exception of a period spanning from January 2007 to July 2010. Several items within SCP-4471 are currently theorized to not have been materialized in the course of this activity, given their long-term morphological stability. Addendum 4471-A, list of static items. One complete suit of 16th century Italian plate armor. Angular rows of punctured holes each 12 through 15 centimeters in diameter line the front and back of the breastplate. Blood traces are evident throughout the interior. Eight armed UAVs of varying make and model. Wings and rotors have been severed from the main body of each device. Each is mounted on individual wooden plaques along with plaques detailing dates and locations. One PL-22 Noodle Direct Ascent Anti-Satellite Missile. Eight gashes span the full length of the main body. A semicircular portion of material has been removed from one lattice fin. Multiple surfaces are scorched in a manner inconsistent with normal weapon operations, 
and a significant portion of internal circuitry has melted. The bones of 25 adult sheep, 12 adult goats, and one adolescent human. Approximately 210 square meters of shed skin in varying states of decay. The texture and markings of the most intact portions are similar to a number of mundane lizard species. <laughs>